helps his aide, Todd. Yeah, Ashley, you know, God bless Uwudi Egwu. will spend four years in prison for crimes he committed here in Butler County. And our investigative team uh, broke this story about Uwudi Egwu and similar crimes committed in Warren County. And now another one of his victims is speaking out, talking about this former nurse's aide and what he did to people who were in his care. 60-year-old God bless Uwudi Egwu was mostly quiet during today's sentencing in Butler County, but he did offer these words of contrition. I'm awfully sorry. The former nurse's aide pleaded guilty in Hamilton to two felonies, sexual battery and gross sexual imposition. He assaulted women he was supposed to be helping. Today, a judge sentenced Uwudi Egwu to four years in prison. He'll start that sentence after he's done serving a three-year prison stint for similar crimes in Warren County. Find at this time the consecutive sentences are necessary to protect the public from future crimes. After today's sentencing hearing, I spoke to one of Uwudi Egwu's victims. Although we typically protect the names of abuse victims, Cornelia Brockman made it clear she wants to speak out on behalf of others, in part because she thinks there are more past crimes that will eventually come to light. I'm happy he got four years. He is a sick man. I think there's other people. He goes after people that it, he thinks is not going to be able to testify, physically or mentally can't testify. I proved to him, I'll get out of bed, I'll be here. You can do the same thing, come forward. Brockman said Uwudi Egu assaulted her at her house. Our investigation, which spans nearly a year, found that Uwudi Egu used a third party app and a healthcare staffing agency to find work, effectively evading state monitors. I'm here for a reason. There's people that has been a victim with him or other people that need to stand up, step up. Now, when Uwudi Egwu is eventually released from prison, he'll have to register as a Tier 3 sex offender. And with that designation, he'll have to check in in person with authorities every 90 days. Reporting live tonight in Hamilton, Todd Dykes, WLWT News 5. Uh, thank you.